Aquarius, you have had some very dramatic developments in love and relationship matters over the summer, thanks to the Venus retrograde. But moving into September, Venus goes direct on the 9th and uh, on the 3rd, excuse me, on September 3rd. And it looks like from September 3rd onward, you're now going to be able to successfully implement this course correction in relationships, this course correction connected to values and self-worth in love and partnership matters that you've been experiencing. So if you've been trying to figure out, should I get back with an ex? You'll know what to do as Venus goes direct. If you and your current partner have been experiencing some bumps in the road of your relationship where one of you doesn't feel appreciated, you've been working through that and now you're gonna make the decision. Do we move forward together or have we grown apart? Is this relationship salvageable? Is this relationship fun anymore? Is it pleasing? Is it making me feel loved? Am I making you feel loved? All of these themes are going to be very apparent and you're going to have the clarity to move forward either with or without somebody as Venus goes direct. Now, if you're in a committed relationship, there could have been a big theme about family drama getting in the way of your relationship. Because Venus has been square Uranus in your fourth house of home on and off during this Venus retrograde cycle. And on the 29th of this month, there's going to be one more square. Venus is fully direct now, but it's going to square Uranus for the last time. And there could be a very unexpected situation that comes up again with family matters that either you and your partner survive or you just make a complete break. That could be an extreme situation. Another possibility is that you guys have not been able to agree for months on how to handle this family situation. And you keep going in different directions and you keep trying something new and different. You may have that experience one more time at the end of the month. And it could be a totally different path that you go on again or that your partner decides to go on and you're left feeling jarred, rattled one more time before this settles down. It could even be that some very unexpected behavior from a family member just affects your relationship. You know, sometimes outside people, even though we don't want this to happen, they affect our relationship. Okay. So maybe there is a child, let's say involved, and this is a relationship with um, a step parent. So maybe there's some dramatic situation there and that could be getting in the way of peace and harmony in your relationship. Or maybe there's a, a relative who doesn't approve of your relationship for some reason and is getting in the way. Or maybe there is a sick relative or a relative who has a great need for help at this point and you and your partner are just disagreeing about it. So it's putting a wedge between you. Well, one final Dramatic event connected to that is likely to occur at the end of the month, and then you're going to be moving forward from it. Other news, Mercury has been retrograde in your eighth house of shared finance since last month. Mercury is going to go direct on the 15th, and there's going to be a new moon the day before in your eighth house on the 14th. So all of the course correction and confusion regarding joint finances and how to allocate funds and spending money and finding mistakes with taxes or, or documentation with loans and paperwork that's been delayed, maybe a mortgage application was denied or delayed, all of that's going to get fixed after the middle of the month and you're going to be able to move forward with that much more successfully. So the last thing I'll talk about is a full moon on the 29th in your third house of communication and this could be a contract expiring. This could be the ending to an agreement Maybe you are uh, finishing up a short trip by the end of the month as well. That is possible. You may decide to take a little trip and you're finishing it up. Your car might go kaput and it might be time to get a new car. So that could also be a situation with this full moon. And the last thing is if you have any siblings, there may be an emotionally charged situation happening either between you and a brother or sister or in a sibling's life separately that you're going to hear about. And if that does happen, you might need to lend support to your brother or sister. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Horoscopes are short and sweet. I'm busy filming your 2024 year ahead forecasts, among other things. 
Let me know in the comments how that Venus retrograde worked out for you with your relationship life specifically, either business partnerships, personal relationships, and the transitions that have occurred. I will see you next month.